Ready? Three, two, one. Hey guys, this is Andrew Richardson and Andrew Coyne from MMA Mania here at Capital Strength and Performance in Sacramento, California for another Fighter on Fighter Technique highlight. Uh, we're going to talk about Jack Hermanson, a new contender who's risen quickly through the ranks. Real tricky guy, has a real nasty top game. And we're going to talk about the submission that he's won his last two fights with, which is the arm across guillotine. So like the Darce, the Anaconda, the Triangle Choke, the arm across guillotine works by isolating one side of Bulldog's neck with my arm and the other with his own shoulder uh, to choke out both sides. Um, it, it, that's a concept that, again, pops up all the time in Jiu-Jitsu. But this uh, the posi position itself here, so I'm going to push this arm across his neck. So again, that side should cut off by his arm. My arm cuts off the other side. I build up into him. I sit guard. And from here, I twist and extend. If Bulldog rolls to his back, I come up in the mount. Same finish. It's the type of guillotine that once it's in, it's really hard to escape because the arms are crossed. I can't fight. I'm not strong from this position. So once it's locked up, it, it's pretty deadly. Uh, we're going to talk about two positions that Hermanson has hit it from. The first being the front headlock position. Uh, when I'm here, what Hermanson did really smartly was beat this arm in. He got a good grip on his hands and he used that to push the arm across and his opponent gave him a little too much wiggle room that once Hermanson got it across, it's over. I sit. Once you're in that position, you're really stuck. And then the second case uh, came more recently against David Branch, who's a very accomplished black belt himself from the turtle position. Hermanson was threatening with the over-under. So Branch did not want to get his back taken. That's his thought right now is, I don't want this guy on my back. He's not thinking about the choke. So as Bulldog's building up and trying to stand, that gap emerges, and I throw here. And the main key here is that I beat Bulldog's armpit, his elbow, with my own hip. So when I throw around, I get that inside. And that pushes the arm across. Then when I sink, we're in that same position. It's, a, it's just a really effective guillotine. That you don't see it often, but once a fighter's in that position, there's no easy defense. That's why Hermanson's able to catch experienced guys.